Yo, yo, guys, it's Lord, with another video, and this right here is my WWE NXT review for this week. I give up on the dates. I mean, it's confusing. They have it on Wednesdays, and they have it on Thursdays, and you go to look for one date, and you go look for the other, and then it's just back and forth. So, I'm going to say this week. <laughs> um, first off, you start with Cassius Elno. Uh, he gets a backstage interview with, I guess, Tony Dawson or Tony Luffman. I don't know which one it was, but um, it was one of those fellas. They were interviewing him. Uh, basically talking about his match with Richie, or not Richie Steamboat, but Trent Beretta, and how he's going to break, you know, the tiebreaker, and how he's going to beat him, and the interviewer kept on calling him Cassius, and Cassius said, my name is not Cassius, it's Cassius. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, because a whole lot of people, you know, they call him Cassius, so, it's Cassius. <laughs> um, then we get Paige versus Alicia Fox, and a good Divas match. Uh, Paige looked great here as always. Alicia Fox is getting better, you know. I think she's more better, a better worker as a heel. Um, so yeah, yeah I think that was good. Uh, Paige beats Alicia Fox with the Paige Turner, uh, a finisher that a whole lot of people have uh, have problems with. So Paige, just go back to using the Rampage. It's much better, anyways. Uh, then we get Alicia Fox video package. I find this very, very ironic that they play this video package as soon as Alicia Fox gets her ass handed to her. <laughs> it was just priceless. Then we get Biggie Langston versus Camacho. Um, this feud is it's pretty good. It gives Camacho something to do. It keeps him busy and is, you know, developing him at the same time, you know, while Unico's out. So it's developing him as a singles competitor should him or Unico split, you know. And, you know, they're putting him in a feud with Biggie Langston. That looks like it's not not going to end anytime soon, according to the next tapings. But we get this match. It was a pretty good match. You know, not all that. Not spectacular or nothing. They are just basically slugging it out. Kicking each other. Beating each other down. Uh, Biggie Langston wins with a biggie, big ending. And, um, you know, he does it twice. And he does the five count twice. So you get a ten count. Thirteen count if you want to count all the counts. <laughs> So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Then we get Trent Beretta. Uh, we find out that he got attacked backstage. And as the camera goes deeper and deeper down the hallway, we find out that Leo Kruger was the assailant. Um, we find Leo Kruger around the corner sitting down um, and tugging his hair and smiling, doing a hee <laughs> laugh. <laughs> then we get Bronson. He comes out um, and just squashes Nick Rogers with the heel hook. Uh, WWE. You got to push this guy. He's a beast. I like Bronson a whole lot. Push him. He could be a mix between Ken Shamrock and Samoa Joe. What's up, big? Um, then we get Seth Rollins in an earlier today segment. Uh, he was talking to uh, Tony Dawson or Tony Luffman. I don't know which Tony this was because I haven't seen either one of them by face. Um, but he was in an interview with one of the Tonys. And he gets attacked from the behind by General Mahal. They brawl around for a good minute. Uh, then the officials and referees separate them. So this spills up to the title match. That happens at the next tapings. Uh, well, the tapings that happened last week. So, yeah, if you guys want to look that up, who won, just look it up. Uh, then we get Mike Dalton versus Luke Harper. Uh, the problem I have with this is, why have him squash the talented guys? My Chase Donovan... Aiden English, C.J. Parker, why not those guys? Even though I like C.J. Parker, I think you have a whole lot to offer. But why Mike Dalton? Mike Dalton has a whole lot to offer. He's a main inventor, in my opinion. Um, we just probably have to pick up a little bit more weight, and he has to be extra, extra sharp on the microphone. But otherwise, that this guy can be a main inventor. Why have him squash? Have him squashed by a guy? That they'll probably only use in the Forster roles in the Double B. He'll probably be Bray Wyatt's lackey, him and Eric Rowan, who reveals who's the other Bray Wyatt's son. He'll probably they'll probably just wind up being his lackeys and not doing much in the Double B. Like the the, the straight edge society. Look look what happened to Luke Gallows. He hung around CM Punk, but as soon as you know they broke away, he got released. Gallows has a whole lot of potential. Now he's in TNA as Doc. Doing a damn good job, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, Luke Harper squashes Mike Dalton with the truck stop. Uh, injury update on Triparello. They say he might not get a chance to compete for tonight's main event. Then we get the raw rebound. Basically, you know, CM Punk celebration, one year long celebration. Watch, I thought it was a pretty decent segment. 
and we get Ryback coming down, and then Dean Ambrose jumps on him like a wild man, or he just comes out of nowhere, he's rawr, and he just jumps on him, and, you know, Seth Rollins, they all eat at him and put him through the table for the next night, uh, for the second night in a row. And uh, as they was doing this, Roman Reigns says, Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Get him up. And King and Jer and King and Cole was just like, No, don't do it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, but um Cassius Ono comes out, uh, he cuts a promo, he says that Trent Breda had a mishap, and he tells Summer Ray to tell the bell ringer, Count to ten and declare me the winner. Dusty Rose comes out to a big pop and says that Wait a minute, no, Cassius says, oh no, you still got a mess tonight, you still gonna compete tonight, and you're competing against, Richie Steamboat's music hits, Steamboat comes out to a, a one ovation, and there's the main event, Richie Steamboat versus Cassius Ono, number three, um, this match is pretty good, and, <clears throat> uh, I thought it was good, I thought it was match of the night, considering the fact that we had a bunch of squash matches, um, but, yeah, this is easily a match of the night, and Richie Steamboat, Richie Steamboat wins with the uh, sling blade. And according to the next tapings, this feud looks like it's over. It looks like it's over, which I really don't mind because as long as we get good matches, I mean that's all that matters. But you know, Steamboat, no, no, you know, yes, yeah, that. But this episode of NXT was really good. Uh, I'll link, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys uh, that want to watch it. Um, tell me what you thought about today's show, um, yeah, and, you know, I'm, I'm seeing how I'm gonna do this here, cause I don't watch TV at home, I watch TV with my friends, so I don't know how I'm gonna do my, cause people want me to do Raw and Smackdown reviews and TNA reviews, um, I'll probably do that, but I'll probably, it'll probably be a day later, but, um, I'm gonna try to see if I can do that, start Monday, um, but the Raw reviews and SmackDown and TNA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to, you know, you still want me to do Raw and SmackDown reviews? Uh, so just let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing a Q and A soon too. So if you got any questions, uh, just leave them down below, and I'll hit you up with them uh, with a video. And uh, yeah, just log into another video and peace. Check out the rest of my NXT reviews.